cosine of the difference of two angles. In this video, I will show you how to use the, the identities for the cosine of the sum and difference of two angles. Last time, I showed to you the identities for the cosine of the sum and difference of two angles. And more than that, I presented a proof, quite a lengthy proof, quite a, a proof that requires a lot of explaining. And so these are the set of identities for the sum and difference of angles for cosine. Example 3.39. Evaluating the cosine of the difference of two angles. Find the exact value of cosine of pi over 12. So in cases like this, when you are given an angle which is not among your special angles, and, and there is no way that you can produce a reference angle that will point you to any of these special angles, that is when the identities for the sum and angles, sum and difference of angles for cosine will come in. We shall write pi over 12 as the difference of two, of two angles. Okay, so I chose these two angles because upon simplifying them, they will lead you here to pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Okay, so let us verify that this is indeed equal to pi over 12. So, well, it's easy. We just copy the denominator and then 4 pi minus 3 pi is just pi. Now, how about 4 pi over 12? Is that really equal to pi over 3? Well, let us produce the factoring for, for 12. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So you are left with pi over 3. And then for 3 pi over 12. So 3 pi divided by 3 times 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this is just pi over 4. Okay, so pi over 12 is equal to this. Pi over 3 minus pi pi over 4. Let us now evaluate cosine of pi over 12 by making this substitution. Cosine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Okay, so that's minus. That's the difference of two angles, so we will go here. Okay, and so that's going to be cosine of pi over 3 times cosine of pi over 4 plus sine of pi over 3 times sine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 3 is that one. It's 1 half. Cosine of pi over 4, this is one of the easy to remember. It's just square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so for pi over 3 again, that's the sine. Square root of 3 over 2. And times square root of 2 over 2. So we just simplify this. This one is just square root of 2 over 4. Okay, let us review our properties for radicals. When your radicals have the same index, this one has the same index, it's 2. And the operation is multiplication. What you do is you just directly multiply the expressions inside the radical sign. And 3 times 2 is 6. So this is cosine of pi over 12. It's equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4. Let's do another one. Example 3.40. Evaluating the cosine of the sum of two angles. Find the exact value of cosine of 11 pi over 12. So what we do is we shall look for special angles or or an angle that will lead us to a special angle, okay? Whose sum is 11 pi over 12. 9 pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 12 is 11 pi over 12. Well, it's easy to verify that, okay? The denominators are the same, so you just copy it, and then you just get the sum of the numerator. That's 11 pi. And then we simplify this. We 
cancel common factors. 3 is a common factor, so you are left with this, 3 pi over 4. 2 is a common factor, and so you will be left with 6 here, 6. So this one is the sum, or is equivalent to 11 pi over 12. So what then is cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 6? So we shall use this. Cosine of alpha plus beta is cos cos minus sin sin. And what is cosine of 3 pi over 4? So the reference angle for that. Okay, again, I am, I am going back to the details of how to evaluate circular functions because this is a, a great chance to review again about how to review or how to evaluate circular functions. So this is our reference angle pi over 4. But this one, 3 pi over 4, this one is in the second quadrant. That is 3 pi over 4. The reference angle for that is this one, this one, this one, okay? And that is pi over 4. Cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative. Negative, okay? Negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, that one, times cosine of pi over 6, pi over 6, cosine, we will use that one, square root of 3 over 2, minus sine of 3 pi over 4. It's positive because 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant, and sine is, the sine of 3 pi over 4 is positive. So it's square root of 2 over 2, times 1 half, you simplify it, and... What we did here is we, we factored out negative 1, okay? So that's what we did here. And so it's equal to this. Cosine of 11 pi over 12 is equal to negative of square root of 6 plus square root of 2 all over 4.